Everything's saturated. All right, so we're going to go back to what we were doing before. We're going to go to... It wasn't Tish. We weren't going back to Tish. Jeez. What we... It was... It was... I was going somewhere else. It was not... Except I set this thing, which I shouldn't have. Okay, I was making processors somewhere else, but now I have to find that planet again. Wait, it was this one. Yeah, we were making another planet here for processors. Now, I do need to clear this out. Need to get the soil from the people there. Or not people, the. I already forgot what the enemy is called. <laughs> this game. I. Dark Fog. Yeah, that's the enemy. Warp engine deactivated. I need you guys to engage the enemy. I don't believe we get soil from taking out the space hive or whatever. Yeah, it's space dark fog hive. Just taking it out just so it's not a threat. And then we'll clear the planets here. Dark fog hive port destroyed. So I'm gonna be taking dark fog hive port destroyed. This planet over here. We're gonna set up our processor production. Port. Dark fog hive port destroyed. Dark fog hive port destroyed. Okay, let's start taking these planets now. Warp engine activated. Oh, and I. I don't have geothermal Dark power station, so I'm gonna have to get it from the logistics network, it seems. Dark fog base core destroyed. I wanna try to take the ones that are closest to the equator here. to clear out all of these threats here. Let's also get this thing up and running. Okay, we're gonna need this, 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 and then the proliferators as well. Alright, so let's get this stuff. Oh, we also need the solar panels as well. Solar panels and wind turbines. All right, let's go. Dark 
Fog base core destroyed. Oh yeah, I also need the geothermal power. Dark Fog base core destroyed. Gotta make sure we're taking advantage of this stuff. And might as well set up the miner right here. We have 18 copper veins. What the hell? Oh, do we need to like unbury it? Yeah, we just needed to do that. need to bring this back here. Hey, I want to start processing some copper here. Uh, it's going to have to go here. Okay, I also need the arc smelters at this point. as well as assemblers. Oh, probably should finish off these threats first. Let's just try to get these built. Yeah, that threat is growing, like, pretty fast. So, really should clear this planet first. But I do want to get this going. Get at least some production. Okay, now we're done. Uh, where is it? There you go. Dark Fox base core destroyed. Then the last one is somewhere over here. Light mode. Mineral depleted. And there we go. So let's also put down another thing here. Alright, so let's get to work. We got some production over here, but...
Let's just get these out of the way first. Alright, let's keep building stuff here. I'm gonna put another ring around this planet. Now again, this uh, planet is going to be for processors. So I'm just gonna get the silicone, the copper, and the iron. Now I am going to replace that blueprint with one that has pile sorters on it, and then I'm gonna get rid of the automated pilers as well. Yeah, probably could exploit that Kimberlite ore. Though I don't think we're gonna be using it on this planet. Now, do we have... we don't have accumulators. Oh, I should bring them here. Okay, just need to bridge these here and then put down these. Okay, then we're gonna upgrade them to the pile sorters. Or not the belt sorters. And I think this is it. Alright, so let's get this... Uh, oh. Copper ingots. So we got... Pile sorters, no MK3 sorters. We got 192 arc smelters. Yeah, this is done. Okay, we need to start getting the silicone now. Uh, did I put the drones in here? Yes, I did. Let's 
start building upwards here. So instead of the wireless tower, might as well just get more power here. So 19 silicone veins. There we go. And this is 19 as well. Yeah, we can get both of these. And then we'll get that cluster of three over there. I'll just make blueprints going in that direction. Then once we capture these three silicone veins, I can start working on that other... Or, wait, let's at least capture, like, one thing of iron first. Okay, so we can capture all of this. I'm just trying to fit everything into this single thing so I don't have to build the miners, but sometimes you have to. go. So I think uh, after we unlock this or upgrade this, uh, we'll do another thing of veins utilization. Then we'll also get silicone ingots in here. Let's get... Oh, these things. Okay, we're gonna do that later. But first, I want the smelters. I'm gonna get rid of these immediately. Let's finish up this side. Okay, so we'll connect these. Still got to do the same thing for the iron ingot uh, thing. Uh, probably should limit it to like 6,000. Or 7,000. Okay, next we upgrade disorders. Do 
we not have any more? Okay, there we go. Okay, so this will be our silicone ingots. So we got 384 pile sorters, no MK3s, 192 arc smelters, no automatic pilers. Perfect. Okay, that's going smoothly. And I just realized we don't have proliferators yet. I'm going to put it like right here. Kind of important to have this. Alright, so one more. Uh, let's go after the iron ore, wherever it is on this planet. There's one vein. That is the only vein on this planet. It's all the way down there. Mineral depleted. Well, that's close enough. So I can at least get it in one thing there. Don't need any additional miners. Alright, now we do the same thing with the iron. Where are you? Now, I don't need magnets here, so we're going to avoid that. We're just going to use the iron ingot blueprint. Yeah, I'm going to fit it like that. Oh, I'm also going to need some Tesla coils soon. Tesla Towers. Oh, wireless towers. No, I'm still good on that. Okay, this is all loaded up now. Get this started. And there we go. Now we just need to upgrade these to pile sorters. And there we go. I need to get rid of these resources. 
I'll do later. Uh, right now, I'll just finish with uh, saving this blueprint here. Now, I do need to cut out this piece over here. Mineral depleted. And then let's check this out, make sure it's actually cut out. And it looks like it is. Ex Wait. Ah, oh, damn it. I copied and pasted this part, this Tesla tower over here. Let's try this again. Did I do that? Okay, we got it. So now we have all three ingredients at this point in time. Okay, let's go ahead and start uh, getting our stuff over here. We're gonna build it on the other side. We're gonna do that efficient build here. Now, what I wanna do is extend this a little bit because I noticed in other places, like this is, I didn't notice that it's getting a little bit backed up with the components and the other stuff. So I'm, I want to make sure I'm using up everything here. Also going to need to put logistics thing over here. Mineral depleted. Mineral depleted. Right, and I also need to do this. Yeah, so the components and the uh, circuit boards get backed up here. So, I want to extend this just a little bit more. So, we got 4, 8, 12. I think it's largely because of the lip raiders here. It's doing its job extremely well. just get rid of this first. Three, four, six, seven, eight, I do want to Upgrade. reposition these power poles here. Just so it has the appropriate spacing. And there we go. Well, at the very least, these components are not going to be back. 
Apparently, you can reverse the path here. Wait a minute, what? What in the hell? Uh... Was that always like that, or is it because I reversed the path? Okay, so it's because I reversed the path. Just gotta make sure that's fixed, and then it'll be okay. I think, I think we're good at this point. Does it even reach all the way back here? It kinda does. Yeah, there was a point where it did reach all the way back here, but... You know, I think we'll trim it down. Instead of adding 16, we'll just add 8. Yeah, there we go. So it'll still, if the components reach over here, it'll still go in. So that should be it for this updated efficient thing here. Is efficient. And we'll save the blueprint. We don't need the Mineral sorter depleted. pilers. Or pile sorters, I should say. Now that we have this going, let's start exporting it. Then we'll have our processors here. If I can find it again. And space warpers in here. There we go. So once we get these space warpers, we can start exporting this stuff. And how are we doing on this? I think we're still good on resources. So I think we can do another one of these blueprints. We're missing assemblers.
And I think I can do like one more of these blueprints and then we'll call it good. What is the power on this thing anyway? Oh, we're going to need more power though. Or maybe I'll just make another one of these blueprints first and then I'll go and make more power. Okay, one more. There we go. And then I'll start getting accumulators as well. So once I have this uh, all powered up, that should alleviate the bottleneck when it comes to processors. In fact, we're actually producing more than we're consuming, so yay! Mineral depleted. Light mode. Okay, let's start putting down more power. having the power on the other side of the planet is beneficial because it means the drones don't necessarily have to go over here. Okay, might as well just capture this copper right here. So I don't have to worry about fitting the solar panels in here later on. Wind turbines. And there we go. Now we do need a place for the accumulators as well. Also secure this thing. Okay, let's start putting down the accumulators now. Yeah, 
Yeah, this will be good enough for the time being. Oh, probably should check how much we're producing here. So, 1,200 processors uh, so far. Light mode. I just need to put down our accumulators somewhere there. And the hive is rebuilding up there. So probably should need to like secure the other planet. And I want to fill this little area here with the accumulators since they can't really fit anything else. 